Om Shanti. Welcome to 28th of November's Kali Blessing. How to become a powerful soul and what are the different practices which we can do so that we can face any situation, any problem or any kind of bad set examples in front of us, whether they're coming from the family, whether they're coming from the surroundings, whether they're coming from five elements also. So God says, may you become a powerful soul and an embodiment of remembrance. We can become a powerful soul by knowledge and also by remembering God constantly while overcoming adverse situations by considering them to be side scenes. So if situations will come, they will teach us something, they'll make us powerful, they'll make us experienced, they'll make us wiser so that next time when something comes, we are already saying nothing new. I can face this. Because souls who are embodiments of remembrance, remembrance are powerful. Because souls who are embodiments of remembrance are powerful. They consider adverse situations to be games. They consider adverse situations to be games. No matter how big the situations may be, for powerful souls, all of those are sight scenes. So we can think of something which comes from our friends, our relatives, even from five elements, or even our physical body, which is made of five elements, can be a let's say you can feel sick today or some kind of disease comes in and then you can think of it as a game or you can take it too seriously and think too much about it make that situation so big that you become small in power to face it that's one choice no matter how big the situations may be for powerful souls all of those are side scenes on the path of their destination i have to reach there even if health doesn't help me even if wealth doesn't help me but i have to reach there and when we want to reach their situations make sure that they help you it happens automatically people actually spend money to go to see sightseeing right we go around to different cities and countries just to become peaceful just to run away from situations just to make ourselves more powerful and happy because back at home things are not so good with relatives with friends with family with a work front or something so we run away from situations but for powerful souls who are embodiments of remembrance whether you call it an adverse situation a paper or an obstacle or a sight scene all of them are sight scenes for them it's like mm, nothing new i'll face them i'll go ahead but i'll reach my destiny you are aware that you have passed those sight scenes on the way to your destination countless times now where is this countless times coming from if you're somebody new to Brahma Kumari's knowledge, countless time means the cycle has moved around many a times. We as souls have faced these situations infinite times. To know about this detail of infinite times or infinity, do come over and take this knowledge. But then let's go ahead. God says it is nothing new for them. It's nothing new. I faced it. I'll do it again and I'll pass with flying colors. Om Shanti with this.